Greetings Crop Circle followers, Scott Maple here. I thought I would share an update that we've just implemented into our Silent Helmets. What you're looking at is our original Revision 3 programmable eye unit with sweep speed control. As you can see, it features a very narrow LED strip animated in such a way to, as to simulate the incandescent bulbs that the original series used. This is a unit that we've used consistently for the last number of years very reliably and it's a great uh, looking unit that is customizable with three programs and is amazing on battery power and doesn't create any heat in the helmet which is of course a very unwanted feature and uh, we're happy that this one has served us as well and as reliably as it has over the years. We are offering an update to this unit and that is this fourth iteration, which features a comet tail that traces behind the lead LED. Also has speed control on it, as the other unit does with all the program features of the original. And this is a user updatable chip. In other words, if you already own one of our other helmets with the revision three chip in it, this is just a matter of swapping out a programmable chip that is on board. In updating to the Revision 4 Comet eye units, this is a very simple thing and end user serviceable. So we just look inside the helmet here, and this is pretty much the setup of all of our existing eye units with the speed and program controls on the board. But if you will notice, it is attached by way of Velcro and loose enough that you can actually get the board out yourself to service it. The only component that needs changing is this little chip, and you can swap it out with a slot screwdriver, and you're just making sure that the orientation of the chip is the same when you're putting it in. Not that one side of the chip is marked with a slot at one end, right here beside the capacitor, you can see that the way that it's written. You just wanna make sure that this new chip goes in in the same way and that you're careful so that you don't bend all of these terminals as they go into the specific ports. I will show you how this is done. So if you look at the board itself, you can see that there's Velcro on the back, which is designed to attach to there. And I'm just taking a very fine slotted screwdriver and very carefully, if you can see this section, just wanna get a little bit under there and I'm gonna just very carefully turn the screwdriver and I'm gonna try not to bend any of these terminals to release this from here. And there we go. The terminal itself can come out freely now. You want to try to not rock it one way or the other because you don't want to bend the terminals, but it just comes off quite cleanly like that. And then you want to make sure that on the new chip that this marking, this notch, is going in in the same orientation as the previous one with the notch towards the capacitor at this end. So you want it to be straight up and down. You're looking down to make sure that all the terminals are going into their correct slots. If adjustments need to be made to the pins to make sure that they're going in straight, then you might need to do that. They can be bent slightly. All the terminals going in the same ports. Kind of very gentle operation, you don't want to force anything. So with the chipset set on top, nice and in on all the pin points, we're just going to apply just a little bit of pressure, press it down. All the contacts are in, you can see, and we are good to go. We'll just place that right back. Here at Crop Circle, we work with a number of very talented artisans, and our electronics guy is no exception. The video that you're seeing right now is the way all of our current units run, which lights one or two LEDs at a time in the sweep with speed, speed control and programs that can run. And I'm going to go through those programs, including the new one that is part of the new chipset to show you here. So for those of you that do not know, you have your sweep speed control by way of a jeweler screwdriver, a very small screwdriver. You can actually just turn that and control the speed of that sweep. And there's also a small button on the board here that's indicated program. 
And when you push that little program button, the front will show you that we have four LEDs lit, and that runs as all of our current eye units run. But if you press the button again and again, we're in now program one. One LED is lit, and this is the way that we are running in intermittent mode. So you can have your helmet sitting there on a table, and it will only periodically run, keeping the battery running even longer than it does now, which is quite substantial if anyone's found out. It will go off and on and periodically run as it does normally when you're wearing it. Let's come back on. There we go. Gives you an idea of how long the intermittent phase is for its running. If we go to two lights, and when this runs, it takes a couple of seconds to run, you can now see that there is a trailing effect behind the lit LEDs. They're lit at half power. You can see two or three LEDs lit behind it and the one coming in dimly before it, which sort of simulates the uh, bulb that was existing in the original Cylon costume better than having a single LED lit. Might be difficult to discern when you're looking at it on video like this, but it's a feature that is a very subtle change and just gives the bar of light a little bit more length and a trail out effect. Mode number three, which is for fans of the original series, the red eye setting. So it will stop periodically in the center there as if it's about to take the shot and then it will go back to its sweep. Anyway, I thought you would be excited to see some of the new features of our new Comet Revision 4 eye unit.